Hey y'all, it's Christian. This is totally raw, in the moment. Um, just me kind of sharing my feelings today. As you all know, I'm so passionate about like motivating and encouraging other people. I've been in ministry for over 10 years. I love God. I'm a reverend, ordained, all of that. But I just wanted to just kind of capture like this in the moment of me needing to like pull away and set boundaries. Um, today was just hard. Today was just interesting. Um, I woke up today, was kind of anxious and I'm like, okay, this is different. Um, I try to go throughout my day and I just couldn't get it together. Um, I was having so many people texting and calling and needing this and it was just very, very overwhelming. Um, and so my husband came down and he's like, what's wrong? And my whole space was just in disarray, y'all. I was just disheveled and I was like, I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to make this video and I have to, and he's like, Christian, you need to shut down your computer and go for a ride or something. And I'm like, no, 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 I have to go. I have to do this. I have to, I have to. He's like, Christian, you need to walk away and come back. And so that's exactly what I did. And I am here capturing the moment. I just want to encourage somebody um, to set those boundaries. Jesus set boundaries too. Like that is the whole premise of this, this entire video. Like Jesus set boundaries and while I was driving, I was reminded of the times in which Jesus had to pull away to pray, to meditate, to speak to God, to get instructions, right? I think about the fact that he had 12 disciples and there was only um, three that he really, really, really went to in times of need and turmoil and, you know, just that, that close proximity. And so I just want to encourage someone, set those boundaries, like put the phone to the side. Yes, you may have committed to something and say, I can't do it. Um, I don't have the capacity. Um, maybe next time. Um, you don't have to give an explanation. That's one thing that someone else told me when I was younger. It's like, everyone doesn't deserve an explanation. And so, um, yeah, I just want to encourage you, like, self-care is not selfish. Self-care is what God gives us in order to fulfill our calling and to fill up our cup. Like, what you are called to do, what we're called to do like we just can't continuously like go on this hamster wheel and be burned out while um, personally suffering and everyone else is gaining from our lack of boundaries. Like Jesus, um, Jesus, you know, even when he was being um, demanded to be at so many places, I mean, we have this man who was working miracles, who was doing what eyes had not seen and ears have not heard. And even he too was like, Mm, no, I'm even thinking about John when his mother was like, hey, they've run out of wine. He's like, woman, the time has not come. You know, like he even did that for his own mother. So whether it's your friends, whether it's your parents, whether it's your children, whether it's um, coworkers, like where, wherever you're being pulled, I just, I just give you permission to set some boundaries. Um, one of the things that that I've been studying in, in, in like Romans, um, and I believe it's 12 and two, like we worship God with our bodies, the, the totality of our whole selves. And some of us need to take off the cape. We're trying to play God in so many people's lives. We need to take the cape off. We need to put on the oxygen mask of ourselves before we try to put on that of others. And Again, I am so convinced that there is something that you and I must do, just like Jesus' fingerprints. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me drink some water, y'all. Just like Jesus had fingerprints, and his and his fingerprints and his calling was to come and save the world from sin and to die for our sins and to bring salvation, you too have a fingerprint and an imprint that must be um, left in the world that only you can do. And you can't do that tired, burned out. Um, you can't do that 
with with grudges in your heart you 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 have to be renewed you have to be renewed mind body and spirit so again i'm just here to encourage you to set those boundaries to turn that phone off to not feel like you have to just explain your explain yourself and provi provide explanations like do what needs to, to to feed your spirit and one thing that i always say is um i tell my husband like i have to smell the roses like i don't want to be 70 years old and never admire the things around me i don't want to um you know have this house and or, or have this job or have this influence and i don't even know um the color of, of of flowers in my own garden like i want to be able to um work hard but also embrace what god has created nature and time and silence and peace and harmony and art and creativity like this hamster wheel mentality is not of God. Even God rested on the seventh day. And so if God is showing you that you can work and, and that it's mandatory to rest, we have to give our own self permission. So I don't know who you got to tell. I don't know who you need to do your PSA to. You got to send a text, send a call, an email, write it on a to-do list for the family for the week. I don't know what you need to do, but set those boundaries, sisters and brothers, all right? So let me say a prayer for you because I had to pray for myself today. And now that I'm well, I'm gonna pray for you because I want you to be well as, too, as well. <laughs> All right, let us pray, God. I just thank you so much for this moment, Lord. I thank you, God, that none of us are exempt from burnout and uh, the need for boundaries, God. Um, but Lord God, when we place our, our hand in your hand, God, when we order our steps according to your will and your way, God, we are able to have this um, this dance between work and rest, God. I just ask that you reveal the boundaries that the risers need to embrace in their own lives, God. I pray, Lord God, that they are able to take off the capes and release themselves of this, this need to be all things to everybody, God. Lord God, even if there's blind spots in our lives where we are um, needing renewal, but we have not yet um, identified that, God. Do what you do, God, and pr provide clarity in our lives. Lord God, you are just so amazing. I know that you can turn around every emotion, every feeling, every thought, God. So I just pray that you do just that and that you get the honor and glory in Jesus' name. All right. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for rising with me. And just know that you need to rise because the world is waiting. Bye-bye. Set those boundaries.